G'day everybody, Nick Dingle here again with a brand new playlist for Microsoft Excel 2013 and this is slightly following on from my Microsoft Word 2013 videos that I did a little while ago. And by that I mean I'm not going to show you how to install the application because it comes with Microsoft Office and I covered that in my last playlist. If you want to know how to install it, there's a link in the description and that'll take you straight to the installing video and you can come on back when you're done with that one. Now this playlist I'm intending to take you through all the basics of Microsoft Excel and all the way up to the advanced features that you can use for this bad boy and it's going to be about maybe 20 plus videos long okay because there's just that many features I have to cover and we're just going to look at an introduction to Excel in this video so if you already know what Excel does and what it looks like please go to the next video and we'll start there but for the very very few of you that probably haven't seen it or used it much at all we're going to open it up and start at the beginning. So I'm going to click on my start button down the bottom and I'm going to go to all apps and scroll down until I see Microsoft Office 2013 and then when I click on that you can see Excel 2013 in there as well. Now I'm not covering version 2016 just to quickly note because it only came out today and I have no means of getting it because I don't have a 365 subscription. So I'm just going to skip over that for the matter and we're going to stick with 2013 for this playlist. Now this start screen for Excel, broken into three sections. You've got your recent documents you've worked on on the left. You've got your templates in the middle here. And then you've got your account in the top right, which will stay there the whole time you use this program. All right. This recent section I find incredibly handy. So these are documents or spreadsheets that I've worked on quite recently. And you'll also notice when you mouse over them, you get a little pin. Okay, so if I click on the pin, it permanently leaves that spreadsheet there, no matter how many spreadsheets I might open in the future. All right? And you can pin a good number of those documents. And I find that incredibly handy sometimes. Okay, I do that a bit with my other computers. Now these templates come with pre-built data and pre-built images that you can use as much as you want. All right? But we are just going to stick with the blank workbook. We're going to open it up and let's have a look at what spreadsheet software is all about. Now, this is what you would probably see in any spreadsheet application you've ever used. If it's uh, Open Office, if it's, what's the other one I'm looking off? Talking about Google, Google Sheets, that's the word. Okay, so you basically have this page here that's split up into lots and lots of different cells. Now, do not try and create documents or presentations or anything similar with Microsoft Excel. This is purely just for spreadsheets. Now what a spreadsheet is, it allows you to number crunch. So you put in numbers, you put in data, you put in dates, and you can perform as many calculations on those as you like. Now the beauty of this is, if we have a whole set of numbers, <clears throat> and one of them has to change because of some unforeseen thing, let's say it's a budget and you're earning less money next month, okay? You simply have to change one number and every single calculation you perform is updated dynamically in front of your face, okay? The other thing that allows you can do in spreadsheet software is create tables and graphs and charts when it comes to your data. So you can interpret it a lot easier, you can see trends and you can see, I suppose, um, consistencies and things like that okay so that's the basics of what a spreadsheet is now, if you've ever used any of the Microsoft applications in uh, Office 2013 you're gonna notice this has got a very similar interface at the top here okay we've got the good old ribbon bar which is returned okay you'll even see very similar tabs such as home insert page layout review and view however there's some different ones such as formulas data and team now obviously they're specific to Microsoft Excel and spreadsheet functionality but you'll also notice all of the buttons that we've got even under the home tab are completely different to the ones that you get in Microsoft Word that's because really the behavior of this software isn't the same as Microsoft Word all right now for example if you wanted to create a document and it had calculations in the middle of it or a table or a graph or something like that and it, you wanted to do number crunching on it I would never recommend you do it directly in Word and I'd never recommend you do the document in Excel later on in this series I'm going to show you how to merge your Excel spreadsheets inside of Word to do those things for you okay so that's just a quick heads up for you there now what I suggest you do, have a quick look around this ribbon bar. I'm also going to include another video down of how to customize the ribbon bar and your quick access toolbar on the top left here. 
for Microsoft Word. Now the reason I'm doing that is because I don't want to double hand. I've already done it for Microsoft Word, okay? So I'm doing it again for Microsoft Excel in the same videos. But essentially what I suggest you do is just have a play around with this before the next video, okay? You can move the cursor just by clicking in a certain cell and you just start typing in different boxes wherever you feel like it, okay? And you can see it's designed for just really quick sentences and really quick things. So I'm gonna leave it at that and in the next video, we're gonna actually look at how you start using this bad boy. So thanks for watching everybody and I'll see you in the next video.